Hello, in this video we will try to learn how to use ESP now. ESP now is communication protocol which is made by Espressif and it is used for simple wireless communication between two ESP32 devices. Communication can be in both or in single direction. There are many tutorials on the internet how to use ESP now, but most of them are using serial monitor to show data we will use displays. So I have two ESP32 devices, LilyGo T display S3, and one device will send the data and this one will receive it. So I made this simple sketch where I can choose some value, for example, like 454. And now I can send and it says fail. Why? Because my receiver is turned off. So let's turn it on. And now receiver said waiting and let's dial, I don't know, another 566 seven and send and receiver received correct number yes i probably spent too much time programming this example which only sent one number uh, but i hope some of you will use this design for for your own needs code is in description but for a learning purpose I made another basic example and I will use that basic example to to explain code and to show you how this works. So let's start. Sorry, I will be there. I promise I will be there. Uh, I will be there soon I finish my coffee. Love you too. Bye. The sponsor of this video is PCB Way. They know how much I love coffee, so they send me this mug. In the past few years they have helped me in many useful and useless projects, so if you need a PCB, PCB Way can make one for you. On their site you can find many other services such as 3D printing or CNC machining. Link is in the description. In this uh, tutorial we will do only simple one-way communication, so one ESP32 sends message to another. To send message we need to know MAC address of receiver. You can see that MAC address of this receiver is shown here. But how to get address of this receiver? In description you will find my examples, you will download them and extract them and in folder there will be this example, my Mac is, so you will open this example and you can see that this is a really short example which basically just prints Mac address on display. You will upload this example to your receiver board. When uploading is done, this will be results. You can see now your MAC address and you can write this or you can memorize it. I will write it on paper. Now you will go back to my folder and let's upload basic example. So you will open example for board which will send data and now you will edit this line now you have your MAC address and you will put MAC address of your receiver here these data are my keep in mind that you need to put this uh, in this hexadecimal format so what is happening here? We need to 
include ESP now header file and Wi-Fi library. Both of them are included in Arduino IDE, so you, you don't need to download anything. We need receiver address. We need to register a peer. And in setup function, we need to init our board and a screen. This part is used to set brightness of the screen. We need to init Wi Fi, ESP now, and register function, which will be called when data are when a data are sent so function name on f name of that function is on data send and we can see that function here so basically when we send the data it will just check is the uh, delivery successful or is it fail and it will call our draw function which will just draw content of our screen and in the loop function we will only increment this data which is basically integer we will increment it send it every two seconds so number will be incremented sended this sending will also call this function on data send and on data send function will call draw function and update our screen you will upload this sketch to your sender and now you can plug it off and you can in basic folder you can open receive folder and plug in your receiver and receive sketches even simpler we have still need ESP now and Wi-Fi headers give the SPI library we have data but now we have on data receive function in setup we will also init our screen brightness and register our on data receive function and on data receive function will only copy received message in data variable and it will call draw function which will again draw content of our screen loop function is empty so when board receive message it will draw content on the screen it will draw data and we will see on sender and uh, receiver that message is delivered and now when you have both sketches uploaded sketch for sender air and for receiver you can play with these devices for example you can place this one in some room in house and with one you can walk around and test range and very soon you will find out that range is great with ESP now I, I can cover my whole house and even my backyard and nearby places and later you can find fancy example in my folder here it is so we can upload it and play with it with this button you are choosing value with this you can change dial or you can choose send button and send something and value is sent to this receiver when i started with esp now i used the tutorial from random nerd site i will post post the link there that is a great site with lots of good content and there you can um, examples which can uh, send larger data for example struct of data in my simple case i'm sending just one integer but you can send lots of data people are also sending uh, parts of images 
or whole small pictures. ESP now can send, I think, 250 bytes in one message. Thank you. Tell me what you think. Tell me, did you learn something? Tell me, did you know this? Tell me whatever you want to tell me. If you are first time here, please subscribe. Yes, I forgot to said. ESP now work on any ESP32 board. ESP32 S3, yes. To Pico, it will work. My examples will work on any board that have TFT screen built in. Or you can add your own. Thank you. And have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and everything else. And if you want, you can buy me coffee. Bye.